I'm in front of a dwarf Cavendish and I've been meaning to get to removing some pups so I'm gonna dig right in and see what they look like. First I'm gonna remove some of the compost to see where the pups are going and coming from. Okay. Ugh. So it looks like this one right here is coming from that middle corn. So I can cut it, but I'm gonna have to take both of those. So let's see if I can get it done. Okay, it looks like I got it right there. Now let's see if I can get this up. Okay, there you go. I went ahead and got the parent plant out here which is a pup from that one and it's grown a pup of its own right here and I got the root ball so I'm gonna go ahead and plant that but first let me bury this one again Okay, so I could probably go around, I could probably take this one and this one, but all I want is that for right now. Okay, so let me rake some of this back in. Okay, so there's my dwarf Cavendish. Let's take it over there and plant it. Okay, so I went ahead and dug up a dwarf Cavendish. It was a pup from the parent plant. I went ahead and dug a hundred plus foot bed, filled it in with composted chips, manure, sand. I laid it on up, tilled it on under, so it's ready to plant. So right over here, Okay, so right over here is where I want to plant this. Now over here, you can see the pup right here is coming out of this pup. There's a little nub right over here. That's going to be a pup. This is a pup. That's a pup coming out. Um, I think that's another pup there. So this is a really nice, good, healthy banana plant. So now I have this in the center of the bed and I have it where I want it this way so let me dig it out.
Okay, so I'm going to want to plant this right here. That looks about right. Let me fill it in. Okay, so I got this planted. So what I want to do is I want to get my hose and push down the manure and get all the air pockets out. <clears throat> okay, so I turned on my water. So right now I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to go ahead and trim it. And I'll use these as chop and drop here in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up, wash, down, wash it off, and get all this uh, compost pushed down in there. Okay, so by putting water on it like that, it pushes down and it sifts all the loose particles down around the root system. You could also take the hose off. Like this. And you could push it down better. Okay, so that pushed it all the way down with the pressure of the water. Now just go like this and get it all agitated so more goes down in there. That's it. I just went ahead and separated the dwarf cavendish from the parent plant. This is a pup. This pup has pups. I prepared the bed. I went ahead and put the dwarf Cavendish banana plant in the bed. Filt it down the water. That way it pushes down the manure to get any air pockets out. That's it. Now it's up to mother nature to let this um, banana plant grow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get some chips and I want to put chips all around this or hold in the moisture and prevent weeds from growing. So let me go get some. Okay, so I got some composted chips to put around here to keep the moisture in and keep the weeds out. I put some of the chop and drop from the leaves I cut off around it and I'm going to be careful of this little pup right here. So I'm going to gently push it 
some of this all the way around that, that. And then I'm gonna pull all this over. Okay, so I got chips all around the compost and I got it around the dwarf cavendish. I'm going to go ahead and wet all this and then we're done. Always check the temperature of the water because it always heats up in the hose and it comes out hot at first. Let this cool off before you put it on your plant. Right now it's hot. Okay, now it feels good. Okay, so it's completely planted, got chips on it, it's completely watered. So that's how I plant my banana plants after I separate them. Sometimes I put them in pots and sometimes I put them directly in the ground. So, hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, show me some love, give me a like. See you soon.